Jesus, help me. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 5015, call on Jesus in time of trouble. He will rescue you. Eternally secure. Eternal means, it doesn't end before forever. I'm safe until the end of forever. John 10 28 No one can snatch them out of my hand. Forever, 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 forever. Eternal security, forever safe in the hand of Jesus. Shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Psalm 5 verse 12. For you Jesus, who bless the righteous, with favor will you surround your people as with a shield. Those in Jesus are eternally safe. The enemy will soon be banished to the lake of fire. I am the door. Hebrews 13.5 in the Greek is very emphatic. Jesus said, I will never, never, never leave you, or forsake you. Never. Unexplainably inextricable. Fun forever. Romans 8:37 In everything we have won more than a victory because of Christ who loves us. I am sure that nothing can separate us from God's love not life or death or demons. Neither demons nor powers nor principalities shall separate us from the love of Jesus. Jesus said that the angels in heaven rejoice when one sinner is born again. The giving of this great gift of salvation is a cause for rejoicing. There is no mention in the Bible of the terrible sorrow that would accompany the loss of a believer's salvation. The gift of salvation being taken back would be a cause for immense angelic sorrow and heavenly mourning. Romans 11:29. The gifts and calling of God are irrevocable. Look God gave the mighty and wonderful irrevocable gift of salvation to stinky Stuart. The gift that will never be revoked. Stuart born again. Who could have guessed thank you Lord Jesus. Jesus taught us that we need to be born again. The Bible says nothing about losing this second birth. No mention of being unborn again. Poor Charlie at the church social. He was unborn again last year on a fishing trip to Mexico. Eternally in the hands of Jesus and resting securely. Psalm 23 6 and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever.